good evening my name is my name is ranjana and uh, i come your name is in... ranjana yeah yeah my name why is why does it say anjana then by mistake uh, by mistake is put uh, anjana so it okay. accepted by the so uh, that's why i not change because i not found the option here maybe yes. the, there will be option uh, so my name is ranjana and i completed my bta degree and uh, past two year i am right now i am working in a multinational company so that's and i am interested in learning something new so in my company because my company is international uh, multinational so english is a primary language so yeah. that's why i am, i want to become fluent in it okay so where are you from i am from the uttar pradesh uh, devariya district okay nice okay cool so um did you go through today's uh, session material actually i not get uh, much time because due to today is uh, father day so today i launched this uh, uh, so i uh, watch out then i yeah, found that you go out you're dressed up you know you're all dressed <laughs> up and you look very pretty so what's happening <laughs> actually actually i uh, today is a father day so today we, we right now a uh, father day celebration going on but uh, i plan that uh, think uh, uh, that celebration may be end with the at uh, at something but uh, it's gone lengthy someone uh, in video call arrange that's why it's to become so you all danced and all of that <laughs> i we are just trying but uh, just to be taking selfies then uh, my uh, message come pop popping like that uh, you have to join the meeting so when i suddenly join but uh, internet connection is uh, very bad so i was yeah. thinking that uh, what i do right now can i cancel that meeting or i try with the, my brother hot spot actually i have the router but uh, today but i don't know why it's not uh, connecting properly so somehow okay. i connect with it, but i feel now good because okay, my okay. money not get wasted <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um today's session is about travel okay so i want you to tell me what do you what do you think when i say the word travel to you travel means uh, in my mind came going uh, going from one place to another place just to okay. covering some distance is uh, traveling like uh, one place to another like uh, sometime we go to the um, like one state to another state or yeah, one country to another country so this thing come in my mind like traveling okay great great yeah of course that makes sense that's what traveling is about um okay so have you are you a person who likes to travel a lot or not too much actually i like but uh, in my family uh, not so many people are interested because everybody is involving in education so they have not time so but i think uh, when so everybody in my family complete their education then one day i we will plan to go some other place like my mother father and uh, we all are only in family my grandfather and uh, all are not uh, alive but we are very um, mother father and my family members my siblings only so and uh, they, they all are only studying because they are smaller and uh, Uh, some uh, uh, two dear sibling are smaller and two sibling are uh, younger than me older but yeah. uh, older than me but uh, not uh, much uh, difference in our age one one two year only so i i'm i'm planning for the but uh, everybody engage in our uh, schedule activity so but i mostly i must i have the dream like going to the america and the, but uh, my family have not so everybody engaging in this activity because my father is uh, um, they, they are taking care of the, my brother which is younger and my mother is also home homemaker so he involved see involving the other activity so he yeah. has also not much time but one day if someone has a hope so one day definitely go to this yeah correct great okay cool So uh, what are the places that you have traveled to so far I traveled the Kanpur Kanpur where I completed my BTech and uh, I visited the Delhi 
because uh, i done my the uh, because uh, where i uh, where i live live living for the because i got the job in noida but my brother was living in noida uh, delhi because he are pre- he is preparing for the ias examination so that's why i live together with the brother in delhi but my job in noida so i travel delhi noida and kanpur which is we, all are in basically in uttar pradesh where is my state so apart yeah. from my apart from my uh, uttar pradesh i not to visited in state okay But, Okay. I love my country. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. So basically, I just want to give you a couple of things that I think you need to work on with regards to your English. Okay. So the first thing that you need to do is see you have to um you do speak English. I'm not going to say no, but you uh tend to make a lot of mistakes. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to strengthen your foundation, which means your grammar. your um sentence formation you know um your vocabulary all of that okay so we have to strengthen that and how do we do that it's a slow process of course but um there sh- it should be like a two way street where you also put in hard work okay so mm-hmm. for the coming days what i want you to do is i want you to um read something that you're interested about but read it loudly i need to read some some yeah. okay yeah so you can read a book you can read newspapers you can read articles whatever that you're interested in but you have to read it loudly okay okay it's very very critical that you go ahead and read it loudly because um that is the only place where you'll actually be uh, improving yes yes right. yeah and i would recommend that you know you remove all like distractions whatever it is so you can actually focus on english and pay attention to it or uh, which company did you say you work for uh can you repeat again i said which company you said you work for oh, an okay. mnc company scl technology i not heard of it so that's also in uttar pradesh yeah in noida in noida is uh, in chennai all over the india mostly okay okay headquarter in the noida Okay, yeah. So you will not say it's not all over the India. It's all over India. All over the India, I think. No, all over India. You will not say all over the India. Okay, okay. All over India. Yeah, because see, the comes only in front of certain things. For example, the Statue of Liberty, uh, the Eiffel Tower, the Leaning Tower of Pizza, the Taj Mahal, but you will not say the India. The America is correct or not? It's not. No, it's not. Okay. okay. okay you will. Okay. It is the United States of America. Nobody says the America. It's the United States of America, the United Kingdom. That's what it is. But if you're only saying America, then you'll say, um, yeah, I'm going to go to America soon. You will not say I'm going to go to the America soon. Okay. I was thinking that uh, India is a specific country. No. It's already yeah, all Indians will think like this only, <laughs> <laughs> okay. but it's not. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. So I would refrain from you know saying the. Uh. What you can do is you can actually for your next session because your time is almost up. You can tell your tutor whoever it is to teach you about articles. Okay. Okay. Remember it. It's called articles. Whoever you're choosing, ask them to teach you about articles. Uh. It's important that you are thorough with it. so that will improve your speech you know you won't be confused about anything uh, it will help you speak better yes yeah okay there yeah, do you have any questions because we just have i think a minute left how much minute we have now i'm sorry how how much minute we have left for this uh, one only one yeah yeah you can uh, find out some mistake which uh, i am which uh, need i need to improve sentence formation yeah so yeah. the thing is that there were like too many mistakes okay and that's when i can say that you have to actually work on your grammar entirely you know yeah. okay yeah it's good for you to kind what how should i put this is good for you to strengthen your foundation 
it's not bad like i'm not saying it is very bad that you know i can't understand i'm able to understand it but if a person of native language like that whose native language is english if they listen to you they might uh, ask you not be able to understand yes okay because yeah so that's what we have to work like the small things like you know i want to go to the america or the india so we can't we should avoid saying things like that yes any yeah. other suggestion yeah so i would uh, if i were you i would just pay a lot of attention to reading you have to read and uh, read loudly whatever it is just read loudly try to get familiar with the words see how the sentences are formed if you're reading a book see how they are forming sentences in the book it's all very very important any any book can suggest me for the beginner because there are so many big te- i read mostly technical subjects so there is not much grammar so any book so then in that case you know you can actually read the news you don't have to like buy a book okay. why don't you just read the news yeah you're right yeah news so, is easily i get yeah you know read the news read uh, the forbes magazine if you're interested you can you know pick up some magazine read that all of that will help you okay 